Hello and welcome to the very first unboxing <laughs> video here on Podcast World Order. Joining me, as you can see, is the usual host, Matt Lilly, over there with a boy hey, and a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I, I mean, I guess as the uh, AEW mark, it seemed yeah. appropriate that I would be on this one. Uh, and, and Ryan, do you want to explain exactly what we're unboxing? Because this isn't a typical video for us. Yes, 100%. Um, so um, as, as Fighter Fest was going live um, during the, uh, during the um, action and action commercial breaks, um, they, would, they would put the hashtag on the uh, screen and every time they would have 10 winners um, and you would have to go to Twitter tag at AE wrestling and then put in the secret hashtag um one one of the people from night one and then one from night two would get a zoom call from jericho um and unless it's his zoom id in here i mean i mean which would be amazing <laughs> if so um, um we're gonna stop recording and go to that <laughs> right now yeah <laughs> at this very moment um but the video but ends here get excited <laughs> yeah um but it's but it's really funny um the box came and then I immediately cut the tape open. And then my wife, Sarah was like, Hey, um, aren't you going to do an unboxing video for that? <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, um, I couldn't blame you if you didn't, honestly. <laughs> so legitimately, this is what it, what it came in, not in a oh, w wow. box or anything of the kind. Um, that's super cool. Yeah. Um, so I cut it's it open. <laughs> already so this is going to be pretty easy um oh just an aew little you know string duffel oh that's super cool really nice yeah all right okay um oh okay i'm super in now oh um, no yeah um inner inner circle oh that's fantastic inner circle shirt and it's my size just like they <laughs> they had asked for um, oh that's fantastic absolutely incredible um oh f yeah <laughs> AEW mask oh wear your mask please i know this ain't this kind of video but wear your mask please please wear your masks here where we are in virginia they're Ryan start needs to crack reason, down here a little more. Um, Ryan needs a reason to show off that AEW mask. So please keep yeah. wearing your mask. Got one more. It's a box a of box. some sort. Oh. Anyway, it's a little bit of the bubbly. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Is it? A what? Is it a little bit of the bubbly? Uh no. Um uh, AEW official sun sunglasses. <laughs> That's fantastic. They got you all set up for summer here. Yeah. Let me just hide the made in China there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so in so in all, the t shirt was probably twenty five. Um, the mask, you know, I mean I mean it'll it'll do it do its job. It's a it's a good it's a good stretchy fabric. So I would nice. say I mean right right now it's going on the website for I think like ten. Um, something like that yeah yeah the sunglasses seem pretty pretty standard um put them on yeah i'd say probably a couple bucks on that well, there you go and then this bag is super oh, thick i'm about to say um, that is that might be the steal honestly this bag yeah and it actually has yeah. a little like zipper pocket right here in the front and it's 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 deep um That's dope. so all in all, the bag, I say this is a $50 box easily. Yeah, um, that you got for free just for putting up a hashtag. Yeah, yeah, just for doing a hashtag. Um, I mean, obviously, the grand prize was going to be Jericho, um, but that's okay. I mean, I mean, the fact that A, I won, and B, they sent, they sent 30 out for the first, for the first part of Fighter Fest. And then another thirty out for the second. So quick math, what we say about fifty dollars for the box re retail, and then times sixty. So that's a three thousand dollar investment. Yeah, right there, and that's just for your fans and getting more of a social media push. I think that that's incredible. Oh, um, real cool. I don't know why. They let you know. 
what? Uh, I was gonna say to let you know which hashtag you used that one. It did not let me know, but it's really funny. Night night one, um, because a buddy of ours, Drew Drew McNeely, uh, he's about thirty seconds ahead of us because he has cable, mm-hmm. and then the rest of us stream. So every time I'd go on to Twitter and I'd be like at AEW put in put in a hashtag, it would be like thirty. 30 seconds ago, him. And I'd be like, I'm not, I'm not going to win. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm so far behind on, you know, just getting the tweets out. Um, and then it was probably about 30 to 45 minutes after the show had went off the air. I was getting ready, get, getting ready to go to bed and um, direct message from all elite wrestling. Hey, guess what? You won. And <laughs> I think the first thing I did in our group chat was screenshot that direct message and yeah. share it. <laughs> Let's say I know I had already fallen asleep and was like, "Wait, what happened yesterday?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but no, this is super cool. Um, I'm gonna wear definitely the mask everywhere because everybody should be wearing their mask everywhere. Definitely. Um, and it's and it's summertime. You got to make sure you're all ready for the sun. So this was yeah, do this your was best awesome. uh, super bad impersonation out of the sunglasses now. Yeah, um, I don't think that I'm as cute as Penelope Ford, um, but I'll but I'll give it a go one of these days. Maybe there that's another go. video. Awesome. Well, this is super cool. Uh, once again, I know it's already been said. Thank you, AEW, for doing this. Just send things out to your fans. That's super cool. Yeah, I think I think that uh, many of the other wrestling promotions within the United States are really missing the boat on getting more fan interaction, especially on social media. I know that WWE puts their hashtag, you know, on, on, on like every match. Um, but there's, but there's no involvement there. It's not, there's, there's really nothing at stake, I guess. For me, the two companies who have been really on that in second place, AEW, I think done a really good job. Ring of Honor has also done a really awesome job interacting with their fans. Um, yeah. Ring of Honor has been killing it. Um, you know, um, for those who are watching this on YouTube, um, go to our Facebook page, um, type in Podcast World Order. Um, we have done interviews with a ton of Ring of Honor professional talent, um, and they are doing a ton of extra stuff uh, while they're waiting for the go-ahead uh, to get back in the ring. Um, I think it's once a month that they've been doing the Ring of Honor trivia night. Um, that's actually sure. how we got Caprice on the show. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, because uh, because we were so because we were so knowledgeable about 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 that, and then we were talking about his non nonprofits, and you know we are all in pretty much in the same game here. Um, but um, but yeah, uh, Ring Ring of Honor has been on the ball, and thank you again to All Elite Wrestling. Uh, this was absolutely incredible. Um, Maybe another one coming on Wednesday. Maybe for Fight for the Fallen. Maybe. Um, That'd be super hoping, cool. I mean, I mean, they probably had more foot traffic on their Twitter the last two weeks than they've had probably in the last month. Just, I mean, and I don't think it's particularly because of the Zoom thing with Jericho, um, but just the fact they're giving that stuff away from. Well, that's, that. <laughs> that's a big part of it. Um, but just the fact they're giving stuff away and it's, you know, like, like I said, probably a, you know, $3,000 investment and then plus shipping for all of that. So um, um, anything we want to plug before we head off? Uh, guys, let us know if you like these kind of videos. I mean, as you guys know, we're a big group of wrestling fans. So uh, I'm sure we maybe not necessarily unboxing, but we have a lot of just wrestling memorabilia, mm-hmm. maybe even a signed Jeff Jarrett King of the Mountain DVD somewhere here. Ooh. Yeah, um, I, I know we all have a lot of, I, I know just, you know, shirts in, in, in general, um, you know, and I know that some of our collections are a little bit more extensive. So um, if that's something that maybe you guys want to see, just the, uh, just, you know, the wrestling um, clothing act, aspect of it it would be really nice to get jeff to do one one of these because his whole basement I think so too. Is oh yeah littered him and his cousin sydney yes Co- correct here, you know we'll also actually keep this a little uh maybe we can get something out of this if this video gets 100 likes 
we'll show to you guys who is our wrestling pick'em champion at the moment. Ooh. So, yeah. 100 likes. Big and within our group, who the wrestling pick'em champion is at the moment. Um, I mean, def- probably held more and more titles than vacant. Um, Honestly. Safe, and a safe. longer tenure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Maybe maybe champion for the moment or for like a year now, I want to say. It's been a while. Yeah. Pulling off an Adam Cole-esque reign here. Um, uh, I know we got the show live on Thursday. Um, referee's discretion dropping uh, before this Saturday. noon on Saturday. Heroes of Wrestling. It is a true testament of my mental fortitude as far as <laughs> – actually just getting through just some of the worst wrestling I think I've ever seen in my life. And that is no joke at all. Um, you know, it's, it's for the fans. Yeah. I'm on day three <laughs> and that's, and, and that's, and that's, you know, not including, you know, um, my other, you know, my, my full-time job. And then, um, and then my other job as a, as a, as a loving father and a devoted husband. <laughs> um, so full-time job on, over there man yeah yeah so we're on the full day three of trying to get through this so um and if that one gets a hundred likes maybe we'll get something else maybe that'll be Ooh. a secret so we're getting we're throwing a whole lot at you guys all right we can need you guys to go and we need you to bombard these videos with likes so we can know exactly what you guys want to see so uh ryan you want to do the sign off um yeah um again everybody need to be safe wear your wear your masks um thank you to all elite wrestling um thank you to fans uh who have gotten us to this point um i know i'm kind of fanning out when i saw that i had like five (laughs) likes over on my video and like you know like four you know like you know 40 views um so thank you to the fans please continue to watch like, share, subscribe um, to everything Podcast World Order. And um, what is what is our slogan here, Matt, over here at the Podcast oh. World, World Order? Oh, man. Put, oh, a, put you on the spot, didn't I? Put a 10 and work our way back. There you, I'll take it. I'll <laughs> take it. In the words of Jeff Hall, put it at 10, work our way back. All right? Guys, we'll thank you, you so much for tuning in. Um, like we said – Live on Thursday on Facebook and then referee's discretion on Saturday. We will see you soon. soon.